Zoom. All right, thank you for that. That was our community with the responses from the financial sector. Now, this is a turning point in Korea's modern history, with the parliament responding to the demands of the Korean people and passing the impeachment motion. But there's a lot more work to be done from here on. Shin Zemin gives us some insights. With the National Assembly having passed a motion to impeach President Park Geun-hye with 234 votes to 56, the impeachment resolution now goes over to the Constitutional Court. Under Article 72 of the Constitution, the President must immediately transfer all presidential powers to Prime Minister Park Geun-hye, who now serves as acting president. In the meantime, the Constitutional Court will have up to six months to either uphold or overturn the motion. And that process could involve arguments from both sides, the Parliament's Judiciary Committee Chair and the lawyers representing the President. At the Constitutional Court, at least six of the nine justices must rule in favor of the motion in order to get the President impeached. Some constitutionalists say the court may not take the entire six months to roll. Based on reports by the prosecutor's office and the president's own admission of wrongdoing, it is evident that fundamental constitutional principles have been breached. Violating the constitution, which stands above all other laws, is more than enough to draw out a decision in favor of impeachment. Also, the justices will be required to write their decisions into the public record different from when the court was considering the impeachment of President Do Mu Hyun when the justices' decisions were anonymous. The Constitutional Court Act, revised in 2005, states that all justices must write their decisions in an impeachment ruling and it will also be recorded in Korean history. So the justices are going to be extra careful as they make the decision regardless of their political inclinations. Experts believe the court will swiftly carry out its decision as the Constitutional Court wouldn't want to hold up state affairs which are currently in disarray. Meanwhile, people from all walks of life are expressing their satisfaction over the result of the vote, saying the parliament's decision is a reflection of the public's unprecedented outcries seen in the past six weeks. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.